Hi everyone, Ms. Moody, District Librarian. Hope everyone's doing okay. I think about you every day. Um, behind me right here, these are called goslings and they are um, baby geese. And they are actually born this time of year. And uh, I'm, I'm taping it now, it's a little early, so we may be seeing them in a, in a few weeks. So the story I'm about to read is about these guys. I'm trying something different today. I'm going to try reading two books on this video. The first one is Gossy. So it's fun, kind of funny because the, the name of it is Goslings and they're baby geese. And then this character is called Gossy. And then the second book um, we're going to read is Gossy and Gertie, his friend. So this is a first trying two books. So we'll see how we do. I hope you enjoy them both. Gossy, written by Oliver Donneray, read by Miss Moody. This is Gossy. Gossy is a gosling. A small yellow gosling who likes to wear bright red boots every day. She wears them when she eats. She wears them when she sleeps. She wears them when she rides. She wears them when she hides. But what Gossy really loves is to wear her bright red boots when she goes for walks every day. She walks backwards, she walks forward, she walks uphill, she walks downhill, she walks in the rain, she walks in the snow. Gossy loves to wear her bright red boots every day. One morning, Gossy would not find her bright red boots. She looked everywhere, under the bed, over the wall, in the barn, under the hens, Gossy looked and looked for her bright red boots. They were gone. Gossy was heartbroken. Then she saw them. They were walking on someone else's feet. Great boots, said Gertie. Gossy smiled. Gossy is a gosling, a small yellow gosling who likes to wear bright red boots. Almost every day. Gossy and Gertie, written by Oliver Donray, read by Miss Moody. This book's dedicated for Pupper. This is Gossy. This is Gertie. Gossy wears bright red boots. Gertie wears bright blue boots. They are friends. They are best friends. They splash in the rain. They play hide and seek in the daisies. They dive in the pond. They watch in the night. They play in the haystacks. Gossy and Gertie are best friends. Everywhere Gossy goes, Gertie goes too. Follow me, cried Gossy. Gossy marched to the barn. Gertie followed. Follow me, cried Gossy. Gossy sneaked to the sheep. Gertie followed. Follow me, cried Gossy. Gossy jumped into a mud puddle. Gertie did not follow. Follow me, shouted Gossy. Gertie followed a hopping frog. Follow me, shouted Gossy, but Gertie followed a butterfly. Follow me, shouted Gossy. Gertie followed a shiny blue beetle. Follow me, shouted Gossy as she followed Gertie. Gertie followed a trail of green. Follow me, said Gertie. It's dinner time. Gossy followed. Gossy and Gertie are friends, our best friends. I hope you enjoyed the stories. Stay safe, Woodbury students.